In League of Legends, a minion is a creature that grants an amount of gold to the champion that dealt the killing blow to it. The amount of gold granted is different depending on the minion type and the state of the game. On today's episode of LolMath, we'll take a look at how a minion's gold value can change throughout the game. First, let's cover the types of minions and their spawn rates. There are three types of common minions in League of Legends. Melee minions, caster minions, and siege minions. Minions start spawning at the 1 minute 30 second mark, and continue to spawn every 30 seconds afterwards. Each wave of minions contains three melee minions and three caster minions. Also, every three waves before the 35 minute mark, a siege minion will spawn. After the 35 minute mark, a siege minion spawns every two waves. Now, let's take a look at how much gold each type of minion can grant. A melee minion grants 22 gold upon being killed, a caster minion grants 16 gold upon being killed, and a siege minion grants 27 gold upon being killed. However, at each 3 minute interval, the amount of gold a minion grants will increase. Melee and caster minions have their gold values increased by 0.5, and siege minions have their gold value increased by 1. Keep in mind that these increases start 3 minutes after the game begins, not 3 minutes after a minion spawn. This means that the first increase is at the 3 minute mark, not the 4 minute 30 second mark. Also, in order for these increases to be applied to a minion, the minion cannot have spawned before the 3 minute interval. Meaning, if a minion that spawned at the 2 minute mark and a minion that spawned at the 3 minute mark are still alive, they will grant different amounts of gold upon being killed. This episode of Lawmath was brought to you by KillSteelGaming.com. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you'd like to be informed whenever I release new videos. If you have any comments, questions, feedback, or ideas for future episodes of Lawmath, feel free to post in the comments section underneath this video. Also, check out the previous Lawmath video by clicking the annotation on the screen. Thanks for watching.